Here's a review and tour of a 2012 Audi A4 2.0T in line 4. And today I'm at my house in an undisclosed location. It's going to be just an overview. Don't you like that license plate? Alright. So it has a smart key access system. It's already unlocked. This is a not a phantom black. A, it's a special paint color that costs like four hundred and fifty dollars. This is a gray leather interior. Leather is standard on these Audis. I'm sorry, I have the sunshade up, but I'm gonna keep the light on. I can't start it up because my neighbors have a baby, but. Whatever, may that video will come soon. Uh, we bought it brand new and it has, <laughs> it's new and it has 11,786 miles and it's 88 degrees out and I'm wearing pajamas. So it has the navigation package. It does not have the sport package. Would That would mean a heavier ball steering and a three spoke, um, what's it called, steering wheel. Let me turn on the power. To start it, you put your foot on the brake and then push it in. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. Here is it. it has a three-zone climate control, um, eight-speed on Mac transmission. Sport means that it's like um, that it gives the characteristics of a manual transmission but it is actually an automatic. Now in drive, um, you push it over and up is for shifting up and that is for down. It does not have a rear backup camera. It has an automatic parking brake. Pull up to activate, it would show right there, and then put your foot on the brake to deactivate. Now let me give, sorry about that more details about the navigation system. It's 3D when you get to city. Like, I don't have time to do that. But here you can enter like city, country, street, your position, point of interest, start route guidance, add uh, stopover, route list, route criteria, add route from here, and then your memory. Nav info, map. Navigation is not active. Oops. <laughs> then you can decide how far you want it. It gets Sirius satellite radio. And if you hit band, you can go to AM or FM. You can have your presets. Tuning, which you can do it like an old fashioned radio. And sound is like the balance, the fader, and the treble. Media is right here. You can put a DVD in and actually, like, watch a movie if you're stopped. But you can watch it in, like, heavy, dense traffic. Name, that's, like, for your telephone, which is right here, which you can call someone by hitting this button. Uh, I don't have a phone with me right now. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. Um... That's, it's a wheel, like the iDrive system, and I've seen my, uh, grandfather's Mercedes, um, but here's return to return, or go to the next page, or, the, yeah. Set up, telephone settings, time, whatever, car, oil level, tire pressure, windshield wipers, I, um, this is how you change them, like, yeah. And then off. And then unlock and lock. Does not have power folding mirrors, but it has heat and obviously power. All four windows are automatic. Automatic trunk. Um, two person memory. So let's check out the exterior, shall we? LED running lights.
has a 2.0 T in line four cylinder, making 211 horsepower. I think it's like 258 feet pound. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I can't turn it on unfortunately. But there's what the engine looks like. Look at them headlights. They are bright. Yes, they are. The flickering is due to the camera. It's not me or anything. As I said, the trunk is power. It's power up, but not power closed. Sorry, we just came back from the beach. There's my Audi Quattro book. LED tail lamps. I totally forgot to turn on the turn signals, but I will do that. Now, I feel like saying that the license plate it's supposed to, my mom likes cats, that's cat, um, meow, D, it's supposed to be like meow, my Audi, get it, haha. Uh -huh. The rear seats are very comfortable, three zone, climate control, power outlet, cut out for the knees, this is set to my mom's position, she's five, but <laughs> I'm like, how tall am I? I'm like 5'4 myself. I have lots of lots of headroom. This comes to town. Nothing in there. Cup holder. And it's German. It has to have complicated holders. I also forgot to say that in the door, there's like a bin for cup holders. Also, the seats are split folding. That's my sister's car. I think the um, gas mileage is like 21 city, 30 highway. Premium unleaded gas. 18 inch alloy wheels. Same setup as the other side. If you see these buttons, they're obviously the smart key. All weather floor mats. It has the, it's an auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, direction, auto dimming. Let me turn on the flashers Oops, ow, ow. Do that. has the LED strip across that for some reason it doesn't have LED turn signals which bothers me let me get to tail lights because they look cool when they flash The glove box is adequate. I forgot to say too that it has power seats on both. That it has 12 way power seat on this one. Garage home link. Standard sunroof. That's how you move it. Like that goes all the way back. And you have to go like that to go all the way back. Now, if you ever get an A4 and you wonder, is this the expensive model? Well, you can actually tell by the wheels and by this. Like, if this isn't here, then it's the cheap model. If it's up here and you get, if you don't have that, then it's the cheap model. Yeah. That's the horn. It's very, very loud. I love using it. As I said, automatic windows up and down both sides now there's one more cool thing I want to show you that I didn't figure out until we've had the car for quite a while
if you turn it this way and you hold it like that, then all the windows go down, and so does the sunroof. Also, I want to tell you that if you do have an Audi and your key fob dies, then if you just hit that little button, this comes out and you can unlock it and lock it by this. And you can also do this and the windows will go up. Wasn't that cool? Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tour on a 2012 Audi A4 2.0 T. Stay tuned for more. Well, there won't be more.